Hey y'all, it's Miss Lee uh, from the BB West Band Room, and I just wanted to address um, one of the biggest concerns I hear from students when it comes to competitive marching band. You've heard about the time commitment and the financial commitment, which are significant. I don't want to diminish that, uh, but we also have a lot of students tell us that they're afraid it'll be too hard, or they won't be able to do it, or they're not good enough, and those things just aren't true. Um, we have students all the time who have um, an athletic background, and it just comes pretty easily to them, um, and then we have people all the time join who um, haven't done a lot of athletic things and still managed to figure out how to do competitive marching band. Um, we rehearse a total of about 300 hours over the season and so there's plenty of time to learn those skills um, and to build upon skills that they already have. Um, we definitely talk a lot about basic musicianship skills like producing good tone, um, rhythm and note reading and stuff and then of course there's an element of movement um, and that's that's added and there's um, dance elements and and everything and while it is pretty demanding physically it's not impossible um, if you are able to if you have normal physical functions you can walk and and all that then we can teach you to march um, and it's so much fun and being a part of the group and going to perform and coming off the field together and wearing the same uniform and being like a true team, uh, there's nothing like it. And unlike sports um, at Blue Valley West, so we have, I think, four boys soccer teams. There's varsity plus down to a D team of baseball. So they might be in a different team um, every year uh, and with different people and there's definitely the opportunity. Um, I counted the number of football players that never actually got to play this year on the varsity team and it was a pretty substantial amount. So that's not really how we function. Uh, we teach all of our members and um, there may be a couple times if due to safety, if there's rehearsal missed or something or uh, for various reasons that they don't watch every single show, uh, but they're written in the show and they have a part and um, they're just as much a part of the team as anyone else and there's something really special about that and we hope you consider joining. Uh, freshman year is actually the easiest year academically, like by far, um, in high school so it's a great year to try it and um, all of last year's freshmen are returning so um, every freshman we had that marched last year enjoyed it enough that they want to do it again and most of them said this was the best thing because I came to school on the first day and I had all these friends and some of them were older and some of them were in my classes and I knew who I was going to eat lunch with and it just makes the high school experience so much better and normal bands a great thing you come in here and you play your instrument we make music together um, we have public performances and it's awesome marching bands kind of another level of get to know these people. You get pretty close with the people in competitive marching band. Um, and it just makes such a difference in high school. So we hope you consider it. Um, and if you can't make it tonight, if you're a wind player and you can't make it tonight, um, or if you're interested in guard and you didn't make it Monday night, just email me um, and let me know and we'll make sure that uh, we get you sized for a uniform and uh, we meet you and talk you through everything and answer any questions you have. Um, but anyhow, um, Thank you so much for listening, and we hope to meet you guys soon. Hi, so I wanted to talk to you a little bit about one of the biggest concerns parents have with competitive marching band, and that is the time commitment. So... What I would say is time commitment is not any different than any other competitive sport or, your, or activity that your child might want to undertake in high school. Um, when my son started marching band, he was um, doing um, marching band in addition to doing varsity level debate. And he did that for two years consistently. 
And um, even though the time commitment was there, I think what it most importantly helped him figure out is how to time manage. And that's something that I think majority of our kids struggle with when they're coming out of middle school understanding how much time to allocate to their activities, understanding how homework needs to be done in a particular time frame, um, and understanding how they have to really prioritize um, the activities that are relevant, the timing that needs to be undertaken, and I think Marching Band does that in a fantastic manner. So um, not only that, I think what's also important is that the children that we are surrounded by, are these are all kids that are doing honors and AP level classes. They are in different kinds of societies and clubs um, and doing volunteer activities. So I can tell you from my personal experience, I never felt that um, time commitment was going to be an issue. And just like all the other kids, you know, th this is a kid that works really hard, tries really hard and has a lot of other activities, including martial arts, volunteering at nursing homes and all of that. So um, I would say, you know, when the school starts through about November, yeah, the schedule is a little hectic, but it's definitely manageable. And more importantly, you know, kids have fun uh, working, kids have fun working together, and then they have this real good support group um, that, you know, if they're struggling or they're having issues with anything, they can work together um, and help that. So honestly, don't let the time commitment be a factor because it really isn't. If anything, your kid will learn to manage. <laughs>